Hello, this is Lauren, and I'm back with another deluxe video. And now, let's continue the Fortune Cup arc. Now, it looks like USA is going to be facing Luna. So, let's see how that goes. Here are the winners of the first round of the Fortune Cup. USA Fudo, Akiza Izinski, Gregor, and... We have a special announcement. Goodwin has set up a loser's match. And that means if you lost, grab your deck. Because you might get a second chance to duel again. We drew two very lucky players. And the first up, and the first up is... She's fast, she's feisty, and she has to be home before her bedtime. Miss Luna! But I can't duel. Something strange happens to me whenever I duel. Not that stuff about duel spares again. You're getting too old to play make believe. It's not make believe. And if the only way to prove it is to duel, I guess I'll have to duel. Okay, but if you win, I get to compete as you as in that. If you win, I get to compete as you next round. Um, okay. Wow. Thanks for all your support, Leo. Why do you think she's a sign of Goodwin? She was a dueling prodigy who beat our greatest professionals at the age of three. The age of three? Are you kidding me? One day she collapsed during a duel and fell into a coma, only to wake a month later. She said that she wasn't asleep, but spent that entire month in the dual monster spirit world. We have reason to believe she told the truth, for she knew things that we did not. But after a few days, her memory began to fade. So by making her duel, we can restore her memories. Now entering the arena, the little duelist who could, the prince, the, pin, the pint-sized prodigy, Luna! The little duelist who could. The pint-sized prodigy. Seriously? And her opponent? The dean of the deck. The brain of the game. The professor. Pleased to meet you, dear Luna. I'm sure this duel will be quite illuminating. And now let's get to dueling. Remember... Only the winner advances. The loser is out for good. All right. Um, postal. I play my set card, White to the Depths. You'll send the top five cards in your deck to the graveyard, and then add the sixth card to your hand. Now then, why don't we begin? Listen to my voice as I count them off. One, perfect. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now show me the card. Ah, the field spell ancient forest. Some say this forest resembles the spirit world. Take us there now. Excellent. Luna has finally traveled to the spirit world. Luna, you finally returned to fulfill your promise and protect this realm from evil. Promise? What promise? Who are you? That dragon looks familiar. It's you, ancient fairy dragon. 
I remember now. I came here several years ago and made a promise that I'd protect you. But I was afraid I wouldn't be able to protect you. Okay, I don't know what word that was, but it didn't sound like a word. But I was afraid I wouldn't be able to protect you all by myself. So I just ran. After that, I tried so hard to forget about you and blocked you all out. I can't believe that I've actually crossed over. I finally entered the spirit world. And now use your sign or power and reveal to me the secrets of this wonderful realm. I have no idea what you want from me, but you need to leave. You're not allowed here. L leave this world alone. I can't do this. I can't protect the spirit world. I'm scared and I want to go home. Alejo, get me out of this place. I can't bring you back. I saw your promise to the spirits. You're connected to these spirits now. So I'll protect you so that you can protect them. Alejo. I won't let you down. I'll fight to protect the spirit world. I have to just end this door. I have to just end this door. I activate Oberon's prank. Instead of restoring our life points, it damages us by the same amount. Uh, uh, uh. Our duel has ended, and neither competitor will be moving on. They both lost. Uh, cree cree. Oh my god, that's so cute. But don't worry. I'll always watch over the spirit world. I wish the spirit world kept being a thing. Seriously. Okay, so that's Luna's duel. Now let's move on to Akiza's. Pre duel. It's over! The Black Rose moves on to the finals to take on Yusei. Fudo! There's a reason I said that. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. There's just a reason I said that. I had to. I mean, I did say I'm going to try singing after I record, so... But the best way to know is, can I hit notes? And I have trouble, uh... I have trouble extending notes, so I, I tried to do a thing or... Oh, her, that mark. What's your deal with this? What's your deal with these marks of ours? When you saw mine, you really freaked out. This mark has brought me nothing but pain. So what good can come from having another one around? Yeah, this is Akiza before character development. Hey. It's the witch. <laughs> that Akiza creeps me out. She seems so sad. You know, I actually want to say this real quick. I know I'm in the middle of dialogue, but... I think that Luna and Leo have such a good sibling dynamic. Is something wrong? My arm kind of stings whenever she get. My arm kind of stings whenever that girl looks at me. And you say it's like, what?
Akiza, I know I can help you overcome the hate and anger you feel. The anger and the hate. Well, it helped with Akiza, but I'm not sure if it'll help me. <laughs> I know he's not trying to help me. I know. Come on, I've got some common sense. Even though I do say that I interact with spirits of characters from this game. But, I mean, come on. I, I, I have benefited from that. These characters that I love so much have really helped me a lot. Whatever these marks are, they connect us somehow. Everyone is out to use us, but we can't let that happen. We've got to come together like a team. That includes you, Akiza. I need to use our duel to remove that mask you're hiding behind. It's time for the finals. The winner of this match gets to go on to the ultimate showdown. A one-on-one, -on -one, no holds barred, duel with the master of faster himself, Jack Atlas. Our first finalist is the mysterious Black Rose, Akiza. Challenging her is the shooting star from the satellite sector, Yusei Fudo. Go home, witch. Oh god, the crowd is so mean to her. You're gonna lose, you freak. Every card has led us to this moment. The Fortune Cup Finals are about to begin. Get ready to feel the fury of my Black Rose Dragon, you say. It must make you feel good to tease me. But, let, but now let me show you what makes me feel good. It's time to show you what misery really is. I only have to help her before she does something she will regret. Akiza, your power is a gift and not a curse. You know, I said that I related to Akiza a lot. And that's true, I do. I really have considered certain things a gift, but I have also seen things as a curse. Like, you know, being unable to talk about people that are very special to me because the world sees them as just mere fictional characters and a figment of my imagination. My soul bonding is a gift and it ties me to people that I wouldn't have met otherwise without it. It connects me to people that can help me overcome my pain, not be suffocated by it. I wish it was gone. And when it comes to Kiza, well, I've been bullied too. I've even been called a witch before. And I wasn't offended by that, because at the time I kind of thought that I was one. At least to some extent, but... And now I kind of reject the label and I'm just sitting here like, why? Why would I reject it? What's going on here? But it's a part of you. And all it's done is make me suffer. Yeah. Kind of like part of me makes me suffer too. The lie, the depression, the anxiety. Um... What else is part of me that makes me suffer? Like my picky taste buds? <laughs> um, that's not actually... That's not the worst of it, honestly. Oh, and there's my body type. I've got PCOS. I feel like that makes me suffer. Although I've kind of gotten over that because... I... I got... I was salty about that because of my height. But it makes me 
PCOS puts you at risk for diabetes development. And with my eating disorder, developing type 2 diabetes would be awful. It would make things so much worse. However, my dad is much taller and he has type 2 diabetes. He definitely developed type 2 he developed type 2 di diabetes by eating too much. And now, I could still get it myself, but I'm trying to prevent that. That's sometimes why I go long periods of time not eating. And now by long periods of time, I'd rather just say that I'm fasting. And that sounds healthier and more accurate. Having this mark doesn't make you some kind of witch, Akiza. It makes you special. I know other people don't see that. But when you get angry at them, you're only hating yourself. Yeah, I used to hate myself. But, you know, when I say I hate my sister, I do see elements of myself in her. Like, I'm not rejecting that. I see it. I see the hateful, envious, I see the person that I kind of used to be. Although I wasn't the kind of person that threw things, I also didn't abuse my parents, and I also, I, I wasn't as bad as her exactly, but I think that just comes down to how deeply rooted her trauma is compared to mine. And I just get so angry and hate her because, yeah, there's something about her that I've got in common with her, but she's still responding differently. And that means she's getting things I never got. But now I'm trying to heal because I'm spiteful. So, yeah, obviously that's what you do when you're spiteful, you try to heal. Yeah, sure, that's weird. That the mark is trying to bring us together. You're not alone. We're all connected. I wish that argument helped me as well. We're going to have to band together in order for this to all make sense. So just accept it. Embrace it. Forget the past. Hate is all I know. If this discussion is over, I activate Black Rose's effect to destroy all your cards. Um, I messed up. I... Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to fix this. Now, I'm going back to where I was, uh, I'm going to talk about, I felt, I felt like an awful person growing up. I used to hate myself, and it was definitely not a good thing. I stopped hating myself, and now I like myself, but that doesn't seem to be helping me. It seems I'm being pushed in a much higher direction. And I think that direction is self-love. Okay. This discussion is over. I activate Black Rose Dragon's effect to destroy all your cards. I won't let you do this. I sacrificed my dragon to stop this destruction. That's nothing. You can't stop me. I never wanted to stop you. I wanted to save you. And I intend to with the trap Cosmic Blast. Since Stardust Dragon left the field, you lose life points equal to its attack. Uh, uh. That's... That's right. The Black Rose is crying. The winner of this duel is... Yusei Fudo! Yusei Fudo!
Yeah, I've got some practice. I still can't make notes last. Akiza. Okay. A versus Jack Ellis. Pre duel. Wait, hold on a second. Before this begins, well, I'd just like to say that I actually relate more to Aki now than I did in the past, which is awkward and actually pretty interesting. But I'm going to probably delay talking about it until a different video. And I may not even talk about it with indolence at all. I may just make a different video about it that doesn't involve delinks. But for now, that's the end of this video. I will see you guys in my next one.